what's going on guys so in this video i'm going to show you how to fix the water when it's not rendering in unreal engine 5 um so that's via the plugin that's available for yourself to do it so to add it in go to edit go to plugins i'm going to do is let you search for water up here and you want these two plugins here so once you select these it will ask you to restart the client um, so it'll just pop up at the bottom to restart, just restart that straight away and they'll add it in. And another one that I recommend is your, if I can type, is your movie um, render queue, which is this one here. So it's an easier way and better way to render these sequences in Unreal Engine 5. So again, that might ask you to restart the client as well. So once you've got them both installed, we'll do first. Just got a blank canvas here which is just the normal landscape what i'm going to do is add the water in all you want to do is go to the plus icon here go to place actors panel and then in you search here you just want to let you search for water so in this um, example i'm going to use the water body lake so you do click and drag enter there then you've got your water I'm just gonna leave it standalone like that for now. Um, what we will do, we can get the camera angle side, we'll add in a uh, cinema, cinematic camera actor. So if we just add that into there, we'll just move it back a little bit. Switch it around, just go a bit more water and a bit more uh, view of the landscape as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Once you've done that, so you've set up the actor, you've set up the water, etc. What we'll do now is create the sequence. So we click on this little icon up here. Click add level sequence, just name it whatever you want. So I'm just going to call it test two. Save that and then you'll have your render queue at the bottom. What we're going to do then, that's how you've created before. Just click and drag that into there. Then so it displays in your viewport. I'm going to do is just change the focal length of that just so we can get a bit more of the water in if you want to um show what's showing on cinema you've got that there pilot it at the bottom there it will like pilot it or you can pin it to the um the actual view that you're looking at as well so what to do now so once you've done all that you've had the water in now you want to go ahead and render the uh, video. So I'll show you now if I add this sequence in. So let me just do a quick um, quick saying. So I'll put a little uh, point into there, put it right to the end. We'll just do a little movement just for the purposes of this. Let's start. Oh wait, I didn't change something. Two seconds. Try that again. Let's start. Click your keyframe. Make sure this is set to linear down here. Okay. My parent in that as well. No. Make sure you're piloting the actor as well by right clicking and going to pilot up here. Put your keyframe in, keyframe in, which it already is. That's fine. Click to the end and then move where you want it to go. But then when I go to the start now, Love the view of the camera that's got to be rendered out. Okay, so once you've done that, I'm about to start, and what we'll do now is render render this into a movie. So if you click this icon here, you'll have this window pop up. Um, this is the one for Melee, so we'll get rid of that one. The test two, so let's do a couple of random settings in here just so we can get it exported. Then I'm going to do the anti. Um, Hey, listen, your game overrides, high resolution, and then your .exr sequence. So with your anti aliasing and I will set that to about 32, it will add you, ask you to update the overrides. You go over to a certain amount, put your warm-up bits on, and what you want to do when you put in your warm-ups is drag your keyframe a little bit further back since it's got the warm up time on the camera. Done that. Click accept. Render local. And when you see on this preview, you can see there 
that the water is not visible on the render itself. Okay, so instead of rendering it all the way through, what I'm going to do pause that just so we can stop that. Pause that as well. But to fix this, so I've got this wrote down here. I will put it at the bottom of the description of the video as well. What we want to do is this command will help you change the render method for the wall. This is just a, um, a fix at the minute. It's not um, everything that stays in place all the time. They're waiting for a hot fix to be put in, basically. What we want to do to put that in, go into your enter console command down here. Paste that command that you just copied off the description. Click enter. And that I'll add that into uh, the system itself. So now if we go to render again, make sure the settings are all the same. Click a set, render local, and there you go. Now you've got the water rendering inside your video sequence. That's a nice simple fix uh, for now anyway, until they do the hotfix on the Unreal Engine system itself. So currently this one I'm running Unreal Engine 5.4. Um, so they're just waiting on that full fix to put it in. Um, but this is the workaround for now. Hope you enjoyed, guys, anyway. Hopefully it's helped. And we'll have some more videos soon. All right, guys. Take care.